Hey, guys, people here. I'm out on the creek again. See, they're spraying the skies. They love doing that. Um, I've got three lines out. I got my hobo reel. I got a little um small small rod, and I've got just a little line tied to the bank here. Um, so far I've had three gar on, but wasn't able to nab them. Um, it's a little trickier than you think. Them guys are hard to catch because they have a long, long mouth that's just like bones and teeth. So they're really hard to get. Um, caught a few turtles again, of course. But I'm going to stay out here for a while and give you a little update a little later. Oh, and look at that. Bam, son. Made my squirrel hide knife sheath. I like it. But I'm going to get back with you guys uh, when I get some. I'm getting all kind of bites. Just, you know. <laughs> the gar won't stay on the hook. And the turtles are out here like a mother. Like usual. But I'll be back. And um, hey, listen later on at the end of this video. I got a question from my friends out there. See if anybody can give a uh, helping hand. Alright guys. Peace out. See you in a bit. We got a little duck family out there. There's a mom and a couple little, little, uh, babies. Uh-oh, looks like something might be going for my, uh, well, they do or they don't. In the meantime, this is an, a long-nosed gar. Yeah, he's moving around. That is a long nose gar, and their teeth are crazy. And that's what I'm out here trying to catch. They're really, really tricky to catch because you can't really hook them, like I told you earlier. But, um, oh, there's something on here. Nope. <laughs> False alarm. So, I'm going to be here for... Oh, sorry about the video. I'm going to be here for a little longer and then I'm going down to the other spot which is about a mm, quarter mile down the, down the bank here past the other bridge very nice spot so uh, we'll see hope we got a good update for you all right hey guys I am back two of these bad boys we'll give you some up close and personals a little later I am hoping for just one more and I'll be getting out of here. There's a reason I want three. Alright, but yeah, we got two of them. It appears this time uh, the treble hooks are working. You know, so long as they um, have the bait in their mouth long enough to get it, you know, somewhere in a spot that it'll lodge. Shovel hooks are working today. Um, surprisingly, I haven't caught any catfish. Any anything else. I only, I only caught a, I think one turtle. But I caught a bunch of gar today. Um, many of them got off, but as you see, we got two right there. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit, guys. See you. Guys, look at that beautiful family. Mother and three little ones. Isn't that awesome? This is why I love being out here. I see so many, so many different families out here. And if my phone was able to show you that bridge, all the bats come out. Getting close to that time. See the sun's coming down. I wouldn't say coming down, but moving further away. So... I don't know, maybe I can get my uh, P900 to show you guys all the bats coming out. That would be pretty awesome. So we'll keep that in idea for later on. Um, I still got the same two gar. Haven't caught nothing but a few gar and some turtles. Not even a catfish today. <laughs> so, um, but hey, please stay tuned later. As I told you. 
I have actually something I want to ask you guys and I want to see if anybody minds lending a hand for for somebody else actually so if you guys wouldn't mind listening thank you very much and I'll be back a little later alright fam so for those who didn't know what alligator gar looked like yeah I got bit twice today playing with these guys trying to pull them out this skin right here that's not scales that's armor plate these are not scales you cannot descale them it is straight up 100% armor yep these guys are like dinosaurs and uh they are everywhere out here so you know i just wanted to show you they look like pike they're basically a pike they are basically a pike but gar are totally different than anything else so just wanted to show you guys all right guys now i'm not going to show the um the cleaning of the gar or anything of that but i do have a request if somebody out there has a decent piece of fat wood that I can make a handle from that would be greatly appreciated please let me know in the comments below um, I have a friend who's in Florida and um, that he's he's went completely off grid he's out in the in the woods doing it alone and he's doing you know great things but he's more more camper friendly than he is bushcraft friendly and he's trying to get into some bushcraft and I'm trying to teach him what I know trying to show him where to go to learn things so um if anybody has a piece of fat wood I can make a ferro rod handle out of please let me know one that I can use a uh, you know the back of a knife 90 degree edge and get small flakes off of you know if anybody can help me out in that, I would greatly appreciate it. But anyways, guys, this this video is uh, coming to an end, and I thank you guys for watching. I love you all, and love your outdoors. See you guys.